four. Four. What are they? Flexion extension. Yeah, flexion extension, ABAD. Um, you need to know the amounts, right, which we've already gone over. So now we're going to palpate in those directions over the articulations. It's a full amount. So let me put your hand out like this. Um, I see his bumps. There's, there's his ulnar bim. That becomes my starting point. I'm going to come about an inch, maybe two inches proximal to that. The distal hand is going to circle right around the carpals. I'm going to feel the carpals. That's my goal. Flex and extend. Tell me if you have any pain or discomfort. There or there. And this is actually abduction because his hand's turned over. This is adduction. All right, so it should be 70, 90 ish. 20, 50. The hand's turned over now. 20, 55. Okay, and that's it. I'll go to the other side so you guys can see. See his bump. I come proximal to that. I know I gotta go distal to that to get on the carpals. There it is. Flex, extend. Any pain there? No. So A B A D. Pain there. You notice how my hands aren't touching, so I have full freedom of movement. And I am over the carpals. You know, and I can tell you where the dings come. The dings come from keeping this hand too close, resi you know, inhibiting the motion, blocking the motion so you don't get the end range. Or this hand too distal. And you can and you know, we can see across the room whether you're on the carpals or not. As soon as the hand starts to flare out, well, guess where you are? Metacarpal. You're on the base of the metacarpal. So the only place that you can be is at the narrowest part of the wrist past the bump. That, that's the only place the carpals are. Okay, so there's that. So let's try that.